Hey, what's up? Welcome to today's video. We're going to interview Ryan, who is my coworker at Microsoft and also did the LMSES program. Now, Ryan specialized in computing systems specialization. Let's get started. All right. Well, let me start off with uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, you know, what what's uh, what's your background, I guess, in like computer science and yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, sure. So um I guess full background. I kind of first started getting interest in computer science back when I was 14, actually. Um, the f high school that I went to at the time they actually had a whole like IT department. One of the classes was programming. So I took like a programming one, which was just kind of like um, .NET, um, Visual Basic stuff. And then um, I took AP computer science, like Java. And then going through that, I did computer engineering, got my bachelor's at the University of Florida. Um, from there, I worked at Lockheed for a couple years. While I was there is when I started the OMSES program, got about halfway through it mm -hmm. while I made the transition to Microsoft and then just finished it um, just slightly over a year ago now because that was May of 2023 and now it's May of 2024. Dude, so, congratulations, Ryan. It's so yeah, good to have you. you on the team. Yeah, for those who don't know, Ryan and I work on the same team at Microsoft. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and so... And you did computing systems as your specialization, right? That is correct. Okay, sweet. Uh, so what was your overall impression of the OMSCS program? So my overall impression is it's definitely one of those programs you have to know what you're doing it for and you have to know what you want out of it to kind of really like make it worth it. It's definitely one of those programs that like, and I know plenty of other people have done it or are currently doing it and like, it's tough. It's definitely tough. Like you have to get that, um, kind of slow start, build that motivation, kind of get in there, learn the process. And then um, if you make it through, then that's awesome. It's I definitely learned a lot. I definitely feel like um, I grew in specific fields. Um, specifically, I, I love the like OS classes and anything that was kind of more distributed computing. Those are my favorite classes, definitely some of the harder classes, but <laughs> definitely some of my favorite um, classes that I took. But um, overall, I would say it's a good program. I've Definitely seen some benefits from as far as my own knowledge goes. Awesome. Yeah, that's a good question, actually, is like, what knowledge have you used from the OMSCS program in your work? So like I said, it would definitely be more of the distributed stuff. So like back when I was at Lockheed, I used to do a lot more embedded work. And I did take a couple classes in embedded. Um, one was embedded optimization. So I felt like didn't kind of pull as directly to what I was doing as I wanted. Um, it was just a little bit different. The coding was all in Python, which I thought was a little bit odd for like an embedded based yeah. course. Um, yeah. But I would say, like I said, more like the along the lines of the OS classes and or anything like related to distribute, I've kind of used um, in my current role here at Microsoft since it's more like cloud based and and a little bit of net networking as well. Um, computer networking, I would say it definitely okay. got some out of that because I never took a traditional networking class. Um, at UF and there I was computer engineering, they don't actually make you take a computer networking class. That's only required for computer science students. So that was definitely something that I've benefited from as well. Yeah, that's true. And to give a little background, Ryan and I work on um, like Kubernetes networking for Azure. So definitely it's the crossover between distributed computing and the networking like Ryan mentioned. Awesome. Yeah. And so what was your least favorite thing about the OMSCS? I would say the least favorite thing is kind of the unpredictability of like knowing what to expect. I know there's like people who kind of write a lot of reviews or you kind of see like how many hours someone on average maybe took on this kind of class. It's sometimes kind of hard to plan around life, what you're going to do as far as like, okay, I expect this class maybe to take this long or that long or, you know, some weeks it's, it's really hard to plan. And like for me, like a lot of big life things happened while I was in the program. I got married. Um, I moved, I had a job change. Like a lot of that, it sometimes can be hard just knowing what classes may be best to take, or maybe just you need to take a semester off. So like the semester I got married, I just completely took it off, decided to enjoy that time, have a honeymoon, just kind of like relax for a little bit. But like um, sometimes, you know, you'll go into a class and go like, oh, okay, I think this will take me 10, 15 hours a week or something. And then you, it feels like it's taking ridiculously longer than that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So that's, that was probably the thing that was the toughest. Um, and I would say it's just also, it, it, it feels like a marathon. Once you start it, you feel like you're in it for a while. And that can honestly get, and other people I've talked to as well, I know feel this way, but it can get kind of grueling at times. We're just kind of like, just constantly almost feeling exhausted because you need to balance after like month, month <laughs> yeah. after month, year after year. <laughs> no, uh, it's just balancing, you know, that work, the school, real life stuff, just 
every commitment it's it can be tough to balance that all out so yep. i yeah. would say all, all those combined <laughs> nice <laughs> no that's actually i would agree with that honestly yeah definitely the juggling stuff around when you're doing classes is hard like what's your advice for students that are challenging like facing challenges with that or or plan to take the program like to plan ahead and stuff sure so I would say know what your own strong suits are. So most people who come into this, and most people who they let in should have some sort of a computer science background. So you should know to some degree kind of where your strengths are in different fields. So if you're taking, I would say, a class related to that strength, um, that you would hopefully expect to be maybe not as bad. Just because you're familiar with the background, you're familiar with some of the information. They'll start um, with some stuff you're probably familiar with, and it'll make it easier to ease into it. There's also, like I said, like reviews and stuff. So some classes I would say just objectively have a lot more work. And there's mm -hmm. also some classes that are just completely like um, essay based. So if you are completely yeah. fine with writing like a six, seven, eight page essay every single week and just know that you can do that and say like two days, like every single time you just plan it out. I mean, that sometimes can be a little bit easier to ease into because I feel like a lot of people also jump into like say a harder class for their first class and like easing yeah. into that is a lot harder <laughs> than easing into something where it's like, Oh, maybe you just have like a few lectures, a quiz. And then like you have a project that they give you a month to do, you know? Yeah. It's definitely, I would definitely do your research and know your strengths. It's kind yeah. Of that's a great, to. I think that's really good advice. And what, just curious, what was your first class that you took? Uh, at the so mine was information security systems, which I would say is one of those classes that is a little bit easier to ease into it. Back when I took it, um, they still had like regular weekly quizzes. And I think they removed that and subbed that out for just like an extra project from what I had. But most of the projects in that class, I would say they don't require a lot of coding. It's a lot more just kind of like solve the puzzle, find the bug kind of thing, which it's hard to say how long that's going to take you because it really depends on the person. It's, it's yeah. a puzzle. Yeah. But it's one of those things where I would say it could ease into it a little bit more. Um, but also, like I said, just following your strengths. So there's something you're already interested in that always help because you're just more familiar with the material. Yeah, that makes sense. What was your favorite thing about the program? I would say my favorite thing about the program is, so on top of just all the knowledge that I learned, I would say there is a certain level of flexibility that you do get in this program that you do not get in a lot of other programs. So like, for example, at the same time as I was doing my last year, um, my wife started MBA program at the University of wow. Florida. They have a fantastic program. She um, enjoyed it. She met a lot of nice people through it. And um, the thing is, though, it's so structured that you can't change anything about the program. You have to take these exact classes with these exact people the entire time from start wow. to finish. And it's completely yeah. online, but it's very rigid in the way that structure is. Mm -hmm. OMSES, because of how you can schedule when you want your classes, like what order you want to do one or two at a time. If you want to take a gap, you can take a gap. I would say that does make it a little bit easier on students and, and me as well. Like I said, like I took off a semester for my wedding because of that. And also I wanted to finish a little bit earlier. So sometimes I took two classes a semester, right? Just that flexibility really um, helps you out as a student and kind of go like, okay, if I need a breather, I can just take either an easier class or one or a semester off or or what, or if you're like, okay, I'm just, I've got time. I can sit down, mm -hmm. just do two classes at a time. I want yeah. to get through that. Just, like just grind get, it out. <laughs> grind it out, exactly. Gotcha. Okay, that's really cool. And then, like, what were your top three classes that you liked the most? So, for me, so Advanced Operating Systems, I would say, was probably my favorite. <laughs> um, just, it was probably the hardest one, too. But yeah. I, both in my grad and undergrad, I would say the hardest ones are usually ones you get the most out of. Yep. So, because you spend so much time on it, there's no way you can, yeah. right? <laughs> um, so, I would say that was probably number one. I, it was structured very well. I feel like you learn a lot. And all the projects were so kind of beefy, essentially, that like you feel like you're doing something. Yeah. So that's what I feel like and sometimes can be hard to do in a semester long class with multiple projects is have a project where you actually like feel like you're accomplishing. Yeah, it's something like, substantial, exactly. Because, yeah. like, you'll talk especially because I was like talking to an um, intern the other day and he's like, how much time do you spend on coding? Like how much do you do coding as far as like lines or whatever and kind of stuff like that. And like, it, it really does vary. I mean, some days are more meeting I mean, some days more whatever, but like when you're a student, just having that like ability to just sit down, just like do a ton of code and like really get through a system or create a system. It's kind of yeah. what you're doing. It's not something you get to do very often in the class. So that's probably why that one's so high up for me. Okay. Um, after that, 
I really enjoyed robotics AI techniques. It's an interesting course. Did you take that course as yeah, well? Yeah, I, I took that one. I like that one yeah, a lot. The, That's like my favorite, I think. Of my how life. to do the self-driving car? Yeah, that one was cool. I like the videos too a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the videos are fantastic. And yeah. all the products I thought were really interesting. They kind of like take you, give you a concept that you're now familiar with because you took the course and he applies it to the Google software. Yeah, that's car. what awesome. I love it's, that. It's, it's like it's no a lot way. of <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's so cool. But then you're kind of like tweaking it a little bit to do like, it's like a turret system. I think yeah, like one or of like them the hang stuff. glider thing you to fly yeah. around. That one was yeah, cool. ex exactly. <laughs> So that was like just a really interesting course um, for the material and, and the lectures. I Those are probably my favorite lectures, I would say, in the whole course that I took. Gotcha. Okay. And then is there another one, like a third? So you'd like advanced operating systems and then the robotics. Is there a third that you liked a lot of your classes? So there's a lot that I would say are kind of tied for third. I, I did... I almost wanted to just say HCI because I just thought the way the class was done was very interesting. Um, yeah. Dr. Joyner, he, that was the only Dr. Joyner class I took. So I think that's part oh. of why I like it. Gotcha. Um, it just the way it was supposed to get you about different kind of products. I don't necessarily do kind of work with it like that because obviously it's more networking side of things. I'm not doing like customer, yeah. like, like, like making it. So it looks really nice. You know? and like, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, yeah, that class so was not, cool. Yeah, it was, it was an interesting class. And then I guess I would also just say network science um, oh, was another interesting one. one. I kind of wanted, I wish I had the time to take that one. I, I like didn't have enough extra credits to like squeeze it in. So, but that one was, it sounded cool just from like the reviews and stuff. Yeah, it, it was an interesting class. And especially since post COVID, they had all like the, oh. the pathogen kind of stuff. <laughs> it's cool. Because a lot of it's about like how different networks kind of form and how things spread and whatnot. So just, the relevance of that kind yeah. of was interesting You're at like, the time I'm as well. I'm living this. You're like, I'm, yeah. living, I'm node zero right here. Just kidding. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so um, did you like the computing system specialization? I would say generally I did. It was the one at the time, especially. And I would say even now, that's kind of most applicable to what I'm doing. I would say they've added, I know, a number more that I wasn't even around by the time I started. Uh, I think okay. like, HCI was one of them because I, I think it was just three or four when I started. Yeah. And it was they added the HCI pre more recently, I think. Yeah, and um, I think they added one other as well. Yeah, like perception. Uh huh. Or yeah, that's something. the next. I think the last one they added. Like, um, if if you could go back, would you choose computing systems? Do you think? It's hard to say because I could take say something like machine learning, which is something that's yeah. or like you know machine learning AI or something, and that's really interesting. It's something that we're like everyone's like promoting it's kind of like the next big thing is kind of how it's yeah. going about i could have taken that and still taken like the other classes i liked as electives right or also just taken maybe a few more machine learning classes as electives so sometimes i do wonder if i could have gone back and done that but yeah. overall i would say i liked computing systems yeah. it's it's the most general and i feel like for most I jobs it's, it's useful most, like yeah you know, it is useful it is useful exactly systems is so always relevant like exactly. you know, it's like you're always going to need to know operating systems how does basically just the whole stack work then you know and then for our job it's like super useful like i'm yeah. i'm imagining i've never taken the operating like advanced operating systems but it's one class that i'm curious about now because i mean it just sounds like you learn a lot like you were saying so yeah i mean that's cool yeah um and then let's see oh yeah if you could go back like are there any classes you would try to avoid maybe or take a different one instead okay so i would definitely say um that embedded optimization scores i just thought it was kind of weird where a lot of what we're doing was in python to kind of like <laughs> represent registers and stuff we're not actually using really registers but it's kind of like I mean, we're using different algorithms and stuff like that, but you're not seeing it like on an embedded system, which to me just yeah, didn't make of... <laughs> sense why we're doing it like that. Like we got a board, I believe, for that class, but we didn't use it until the last project. And even then it wasn't really like an embedded kind of project. It was just <laughs> kind of weird. Um, okay. So that one I wasn't a particularly huge fan of. Um, I would say that's probably the only one that I was like, yeah, I definitely think that one should either be overhaul i probably wish i could have taken everything else i feel like i got at least something out of gotcha okay no thanks ryan those are all my questions man i'll let you go stop uh, grilling you about your past experience you know congratulations uh graduating that's super cool